translated really quickly. Uh, yeah, and well, you know, actually, AK and I, the first when we got the pickup to start working on the series, the first thing we did is AK and I. I was like, I need the best writer I know, who's AK Schumann. We went on a plane together um, to an unknown destination, <laughs> and and spent two weeks just going through that first book and breaking it down. And like, what are the key elements? What do you, as a non-book fan, love? What do I, as a book fan? feel like it has to be there to keep setting up things for the future and so the two of us kind of having that balance of, of how we approach the material is really like how we built it from the beginning. I mean for me, I, I was a fan of the books, I read them with my mom when I was younger so you know I've always loved the books and like knew them very very intimately um, and AK I'm not sure why you wanted to come to the Wheel of Time. How did we snag Obviously you? Obviously because of Rave. Rave <laughs> sent me uh, the first three books I think Yeah. Um, and I fell in love with them too and at first I was incredibly intimidated because they're so long and I was like what have I signed up for? But I absolutely fell in love with them and we're so proud of the show we made and we hope that both fans of the books are really happy and people that haven't read the books can enjoy it just as much. Thank you. How oh, um, building like the world and the, how they look and everything, was that something you knew initially that you wanted to look like? Like you wanted the white cloaks to look like as badass as they look and the eyes died to look like this. But was it something that you developed over time? I mean, we had a lot of ideas at the beginning yeah. of like, this is what we need the feeling of this to be. This is what, you know, these are elements of it, you know, and Sarah Nakamura, our researcher, who's amazing, has read the books 30 times, would, you know, pull the list of all the details that are really important. And then, and then we have these amazing artists on the show. You see who did costumes, Andre, Andre yeah. who did the sets, who would bring, you know, like if a show is good, it means people are bringing their own artistry to it and finding ways to like lift what you already see it to be. And so Andre and Isi, who did production design and um, costumes, like Isi, we knew we wanted something weirdly ecclesiastical for, um, you know, that had some kind of like religious undertone to it for the white cloaks. And then she developed this amazing thing. And we were like, you know, balance is important in the show. So imbalance is where we see a lot of like evil or antagonistic forces. And so she created these like costumes that are super asymmetrical. So there's so much thought that goes into every tiny little thing on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.